five biggest ships in the world. Hello, and welcome to a big, bigger, biggest episode of Amazed Fives. Size does sometimes matter, especially when we talk about ships. The ship's size makes one aware of the awesome manufacturing and design techniques involved in constructing these ships. Big ships in the world are usually in the form of oil tankers and cargo carriers. Large ships are indeed wonders of engineering marvel and are a part of handling more than 90% of the world's transported goods. That is right, our everyday goods that we use are reliant on big ships for their transport. Manufacturing of large ships utilizes a lot of propulsion systems like diesel, nuclear, or solar energy. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Ship size varies according to its use. Dive right in and get to know about the top five biggest ships in the world. The number one, the RMS Queen Mary II. RMS Queen Mary II is the world's biggest transatlantic ocean liner ship. It was built in 1969 and named after the first Queen Mary of England. RMS Queen Mary II is the only transatlantic ocean liner in service and travels between Southampton to New York. The ship is used annually for world cruise and is hence a passenger cruise ship. Having a massive bow length of 1,132 feet and a gross tonnage of 148,528 GT, RMS Queen Mary II can carry 2,620 passengers, exclusive of its 1,253 crew members at 30 knots. Definitely a dream come true cruise for those on board. Number two, Club Med 2. Club Med 2 is an interesting ship to discuss. For one, it isn't exactly a ship and is in a league of its own. Club Med 2 is one of the biggest sailing cruise ships in the world. It doesn't carry hundreds of shipping containers. However, we think it is pretty huge if compared to the traditional sailing boats. Club Med 2 can carry around 1,000 people and runs of five masts. The tech features of this ship are pretty amazing as it utilizes the power of seven sails. Four diesel generators power two electric motors, causing it to travel at 17 miles per hour. This unique ship is 636 feet and is owned by MED as a cruise ship that sails around the Mediterranean Sea, hitting the Caribbean in winter. And number three, CSCL Globe. The CSCL Globe was bought from the Hyundai Heavy Industries. It travels on the Asia-Europe trade look. It is a container ship. The big ship spans a length of 1,312 feet and has a gross tonnage of 186,000 GT. It is propelled by a 77,200 BHP engine that is electronically controlled and is highly efficient. CSCL Globe is built based on Triple E. Triple E stands for Economy of Scale, Energy Efficient, and Environmentally Improved. The CSCO Globe Ship is one of the most efficient container ships today in service. Comment on your favorite cruise ship below. Number 4, Prairial. Prairial came in service in 1979 and operated until 2003. This super tanker was the fourth version of the petite class of tankers. It was the only one to perform a decade in service. Prairial sailed the seas and was also given many names such as Sea Brilliance and Sea Giant rightfully. Prairial had a GRT of 274, 826 tons, which makes its cargo capacity unmatched in Mary Tom's history. The double propeller quad steam turbine engine system delivered the ship at the speed of 16 knots. The length of this giant was 1,350 feet. And number five, Knock Nevis. Knock Nevis is one of the largest and heaviest ships ever built in the world. You can say it was the biggest human-made object that moved on the earth. 
the ship's length is more than the height of the Empire State Building. Imagine that. From stern to bow, the ship spanned 1,504 feet and had a gross tonnage of 260,941 GT. Knight Nevis was built in 1979 by Sumitomo Heavy Industries in Japan. Knight Nevis got damaged in the Iraq-Iran War in 1989. However, it was repaired and came back in service. Later in 1991, Norwegian Jorgen Yara bought the ship, which then served for 13 years. The cruise ship carried 35 crew members and had a cruising speed of 16 knots. Its engine was propelled by one propeller that was 9 meters in diameter. One interesting fact about Knock Nevis is that to slow down its speed, it took the ship 9 kilometers and the ship had a turning circle of 3 kilometers. That's all for today folks. Like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get all notifications from Amazed Fives.